Hi guys, so welcome to the series of A to Z syndromes. Uh, we are on letter F and we are coming back after a short break. Uh, my name is Dr. Zainab Bora and I have done my MBBS and MD in Radiology from Ames New Delhi. So let's have a look at the commonly asked syndromes which start with the letter F. So the first thing we want to talk about is the FARS disease or the FARS syndrome. So as you can see on this non-contrast CT image that I'm uh, showing you here, there are all of these white white areas. What are these radio opaque areas or these hyperdense areas? These are actually calcification. So if you notice the anatomy, these are the frontal horns of the lateral ventricle and you find that in the chordate as well as in the lentiform nucleus you have this diffuse calcification you also have it in the bilateral thalamus as well as bilateral subcortical white matter if we go down and look at the dentate nucleus of cerebellum even that might be calcified so fast disease is actually a neurodegenerative disorder let me just write that again it's a neurodegenerative disorder all right so this is something which happens in older individuals wherein you would find the calcification of basal ganglia thalamus subcortical white matter as well as the dentate nucleus so this is what is the fars disease a similar sort of pattern basically can also be seen remember when you see the calcification in this distribution you also should think of hypoparathyroidism so hypo pth as well as pseudo hypo pth both of these are again common causes of calcification of these areas you might think it should be hyper pth but remember it's hypoparathyroidism because of phosphate accumulation you basically have this calcification in the abnormal soft tissues all right so this is about fars disease when we talk about the next disease here which is fabry's disease so fabry disease is actually a lysosomal storage disorder so remember this sentence all right remember this sentence which is the trick so you remember my favorite which will tell you it's fabry activity is ceramics we made a galaxy so now favorite tells you that we are talking about fabies ceramics tell you that here there is accumulation of ceramide which happens why does this occur it occurs because of a galaxy it occurs because of deficiency of alpha galactosidase and what is the inheritance from x galaxy you remember that it is x linked recessive all right so ceramide alpha galactosidase x linked recessive what are the features of fabry disease so one here again you see a galaxy like appearance on the skin so these are various angiokeratomas that you are seeing in the eye you find this vortex keratopathy all right so there is this keratopathy which has been given the term vortex keratopathy apart from that very important there will be polyneuropathy which can be noted and they can also be hypohidrosis so this is basically the tetrad of findings that you find in fabry's disease all right so this is how remember the sentence my favorite activity is ceramics we made a galaxy all right okay going ahead to the next one which is froin syndrome so froin syndrome is something uh, wherein the csf tap that you do in a certain patient results in this coagulation so froin syndrome occurs when there is increased protein in the csf plus there can be xanthochromia which results in increased coagulation of the csf when does this occur this basically occurs in any sort of obstructive uh, spinal disorder so whether you have a tumor or you have an abscess which is basically causing this obstruction to the flow of csf for example you have this mri here which is showing you a spinal cord tumor which is causing obstruction to the flow of csf right so this in this case when you see such a tumor in an um, adult patient think of ependymoma as the most common cause of intramedullary spinal cord tumor so this is the tumor which is causing obstruction so because of meningeal irritation in cases of tumor and abscess a lot of times you will have this finding where there is this accumulation there is this coagulation of csf so this is called as froin syndrome looking at the next uh, disorder which is friedreich's ataxia very very important so this is a trinucleotide repeat so here we have learned the story right those of you who are um, regular students you know we remember this as a story of lady gaga so that helps you remember that the trinucleotide repeat is lady gaga say g a a so this is the repeat that we have 
Now, when Lady Gaga was nine years old, right? She was having a concert. So, what is the chromosome? Chromosome nine. She was having a concert and she fell because she had ataxia, right? She fell because she had ataxia. And then, on further investigation, uh, we found the cause that what is the cause that she fell in in a concert, right? So, we found that the likely cause was a spinal deformity, probably. So, scoliosis is something which could be a finding of Friedrich's ataxia. Apart from that, you find that there is a prominent toe deformity which is called as hallux valgus. So, you also found a hallux valgus deformity in uh, Lady Gaga here. Okay, so because of this fall, now nobody used to come to her concert, so this uh, metaphor is still going on. So, that is why she, uh, she went into a recession and the uh, uh, pattern that you have of inheritance is autosomal recessive. Eventually, she couldn't stand the loss and she went into um, a cardiac arrest. And on further investigation, we found that there is this banana shaped septum that is found. So, remember HOCM, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, is also a feature. Let's you can just remember the flow of the story if you want, or you can just remember Friedrich's ataxia, GA, trinucleotide repeat. This is something which occurs in the non coding areas. Remember, apart from Huntington's, everything is non coding, okay? It occurs on chromosome 9. And the gene which is mutated is the frataxin gene. All right, so frataxin gene is, is responsible for the protein that uh, causes iron flux from mitochondria. Okay, so remember frataxin, and these are the various features: scoliosis, hallux valgus, resulting in ataxia, and HOCM is usually the most common cause of death in these patients. Finally, we want to talk about Felty syndrome. So I want to look at Santa here. So remember Felty syndrome. Think of Santa. All right. So S for splenomegaly. Remember S for splenomegaly. A for arthritis. More importantly, think of rheumatoid arthritis. All right. So A for arthritis. And then you have pancytopenia, which you can remember as Santa only. So neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, as well as anemia. All right. So this is what is the Felty syndrome, where RA is associated with splenomegaly and pancytopenia. Last one, which is Fitzcurtis flu syndrome. So, this is a syndrome which is related to PID, or right, pelvic inflammatory disorder, where the female will come to you with right upper quadrant pain. And on further investigation, what is found is that the liver capsule is actually inflamed. Liver parenchyma is fine, but there is perihepatitis, all right. So, there is inflammation around the liver and on laparoscopy, what we find are these violin string adhesions. So, very, very important that laparoscopy is the investigation of choice here, which would show these violin string adhesions on lap. Okay, so this is about the Fitzcurtis U syndrome. So, this is it. I'll see you all next time with the letter G. Thank you so much.